Hello again, beautiful artists, and welcome back to another episode of Paint Along with Sky. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Sky, and I post beginning level acrylic painting tutorials here on YouTube every Saturday. So make sure to hit subscribe so you can join the fun and paint along. And don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified when I post a new video. Alright, so happy almost summertime, beautiful artists. I have a sort of perhaps a summer, spring, blossoming, firefly inspired magic lotus painting for us today. I have my four standard brushes that I got in my new kit, which I have the link available below for you guys. I have a square brush, this medium sized pointed brush, and then two sizes of detail brushes, one small and one extra tiny. I'm gonna get those in my water cup off the side of the screen. The colors that I'm going to start with for today's background step. So I have a fair amount of white, a fair amount here of my ultramarine blue, a little bit of phthalo green, some yellow, and a fair amount of red. If you'd like to see a full materials list with everything that you need to paint along, go ahead and check the description box below. All right, let's go ahead and jump on in. Okay, so I'm gonna grab my second to smallest detail brush here, this guy right here. And what I'm going to do is start off here with a little bit of kind of like sketching, only we're gonna be doing it with paint rather than a pencil. So I'm gonna have a little bit of water into my paint, always helps the paint go nice and smooth. And I'm going to mix up a pretty light blue. I'm going a little bit darker even than where you need to go. Since we're gonna be covering this, you can go very, very light, but I wanna make sure everyone can see my sketch lines here. So I'm gonna go a little bit darker here with my light blue. And what I'm going to start with is a horizon line. So I wanna do a straight line as straight as I can, maybe about a quarter, between a quarter and a third of the way up. Just like so. And there I have my horizon line that's going to separate where my pond is versus where my sky is. And now I'm also going to sketch out my lotus shape. So this is kind of the main shape here, so it's very important. Um, but we're gonna off-center this a little bit and start with our biggest center lotus leaf, which we're gonna have sort of be like a lamp shape here. So a like petal, and you can adjust it as need be. And then I'm going to have two similar petals. They're gonna be kind of sneaking from behind here. You wanna have that as even as possible about like so and you can kind of adjust your shape as you go we're going to be filling this in later and then i'm going to have one more petal this is just going to curve out like so and then up and around just like so and you can have one more if you'd like to have a nice blossoming lotus flower lots of details there lots of petals I'll probably adjust that slightly once I get to filling in I think I want that center petal a little bit bigger but that's okay I'm going to do a quick lily pad right underneath, which is going to be where my lotus is blossoming from. Okay, just like so. Now I'm going to have a little bit of reflection here in the bottom. Doing this nice sketch for myself. Now, so that we can come back and fill it all in for ourselves. So this is the mirror image. 
coming out and then around just like so all right we want to have it near there in our water I'm going to do one more little lily pad kind of coming off the side there as well just going to look nice once we're filling everything in that's looking good for now. I'm gonna go ahead and retire the medium sized or my second to smallest detail brush here. And I'm going to grab my medium sized brush instead. So now we're gonna work on the background a little bit, a little bit easier. And I'm going to start with an even lighter blue. And I'm going to go right around my lotus, coming into that, meet that sketch line there that we just created. You can cover it a little bit, that's all right, because we're going to find that later. Just a very soft, light blue all around our lotus. Our lotus is gonna look like it's glowing later. So we're gonna start really light around the flower's shape, okay? Starting with that background. And just textured brush strokes here all around very nice okay. and I'm going to grab a little bit of a darker blue now and just blend that up a little bit into our background a little bit a step darker but pretty subtle, kind of working our way to a darker blue. Okay, we're gonna get pretty dark at the outside edge. Just like so. Okay, and I'm always using a little bit of water to help me blend. And this is a super simple blend because we are just blending light blue into slightly darker light blue. So it's super easy to kind of adjust if you need to, if you brought it a little bit too far in, just like so. We're gonna bring that all around our lotus, leaving the lotus alone for now. Okay, working pretty quickly today for this background so that we can get it nice and blended. Very subtle, super pretty. To have that light, I think, around the lotus really adds that magical touch. Okay, we're getting lots of good brush stroke texture there. Let's now go a step darker into this corner up here, very vibrant dark blue. Lots of paint there, don't be shy with the paint. Plenty of water helping the paint soak into that texture of the canvas. a lot of questions about if I'm painting on canvas or paper and I'm always painting on canvas with acrylics. Acrylics is a pretty heavy body medium paint so you need that canvas or I like to also paint on wood sometimes. That is a good surface for it as well. primed wood, I recommend. Okay, looking pretty good. All right, I like it. Now we're going to add some magical swirls. Love this part. Just going to grab some pure blue, just as it is. And I'm going to do two swirls. 
right on top of my existing paint here, just like so. I'm gonna have a couple brush strokes kind of coming around. It's kind of inspired by like Starry Night here as far as the composition. Needed a little bit more in the background there, so. Just like so. Just need a little bit more white texture that I don't want to see. Let me touch that up real quick. <laughs> okay, and I'm gonna grab my second to smallest brush. And I'm going to do a medium blue. just kind of add to my swirly shape here with some of that color. Just like so. A little here, a little there. Okay, and then all the way to white as well. Right in the center there. And kind of along the curves of my swirls. And you can blend anything if you went a little bit too heavy handed. It'll all just eventually blend to a soft light blue. Just kind of playing around, creating some fun movement here. Grabbing a little bit of my dark blue with my smaller brush as well. For some nice small sized streaks here and there also. Okay, that's looking pretty good for our top part here. <laughs> I like it. Lots of movement there, very pretty. Okay, I'm going to grab my medium sized brush again. And we'll go ahead and just fill in our water now. I'm going to take a medium blue and just start to come around my petals that are here in my reflection. I want to pull all of my brush strokes horizontal. So it's okay to go into those little shapes, but then you want to come back and get all the brush strokes going that same back and forth direction because we're here in our reflection in our pond where everything is going to be translated as horizontal lines. Okay, all brush strokes go in the same direction. Okay, and then go around where our lily pad will be. Beautiful color. Okay, looking great. Gonna pull a little bit more blue into my light blue mixture and Fill in here towards the bottom, pulling that color out a little bit. Pulled a little bit of green in there. Okay. Back and forth brush strokes as well. Leaving a little bit of that light blue. Okay, still working with a sort of medium blue. Now I'll move all the way to my dark blue, which I'll go right along sort of the water's edge there up top. A little bit of water into my paint. And then pulling all the brush strokes 
back and forth. Have just a little gap there for my lily pad. A lot of blue in this painting, especially with this background step. But I like how it turns out. So just trust the process as per usual, I'm trying to get a nice blend there my, where my two blues meet. And I got a little too dark, so I pulled a little bit more white into my light blue. Okay, and then over here, we're gonna have a little bit darker towards the outside edges and right along that horizon line, just like so. Making everything horizontal. It's okay if you cover your petals a little bit. Okay, that looks great. I'm going to grab a little bit more of like a really light blue and just do some quick more brush strokes here and there in my water just to create a really nice reflective vibe there. Okay, great. I'm going to grab my second to smallest brush again too. Okay, and grab a little bit of green for my lily pads. I'm going to mix my yellow and my green together. I'm going to get a nice grassy green color and go ahead and just paint your lily pad in it's just going to be an oval just like so super simple base color there and then we'll have our lily pad here as well very flat like a pancake A little bit of width there, or height rather. Just like so, long flat oval. All right, for our beautiful lily. Lotus, excuse me. <laughs> okay. Looks good. Going to grab a little bit of yellow, sneak it into my green here. I'll have a nice highlight color, and I'm going to do a quick little streak of that yellow through my lily pads as a highlight just like so. Looks good to me. All right, and now our last little shape here for the first part is going to be, of course, our lotus, our main piece de la resistance here. Focal point of the painting. So I'm gonna take just red, I'm going to go in right on top of my blue sketch lines. Going a little bit further out, we want to have a no white canvas showing after we're done with our lotus here. So make sure everything is seamless. Okay. And I may want to use my smaller brush. We're going to have a nice bold red line for the outside part of each petal. And then we're going to do small little mini gradations in each one of these petals. And that might sound a little intimidating, but don't worry. We're working just again with one color, red to white, so it's pretty simple. Going to go along the bottom part of my lily pad there as well. 
and I'm going to start working with the pink. So the pink is going to go right in the center. And the idea is we want to pull it out to meet the red and blend it slightly once we get there. And you may see a little bit of your sketch underneath still. That's okay. We want to try to get it as covered as we can in this step though, and then we can always come back later and add a little bit more. But we're wanting a gradation now with that wet on wet blending, just like so in each one of these petals. It's a very important step, everyone. Just like so, bringing it out to meet the red and blending it. And we also want to keep all of these brush strokes going the same direction. Remember, every brush stroke matters. This is great gradation practice for everybody. Okay, should blend pretty simply. Very satisfying to see that shape fill in. <laughs> okay. And I might need to bring a bit more red in here. Okay. Looking good, moving right along. Last couple petals here, and then we're going to do the same thing down in our water. For our reflection as well, of course. Okay, look at that, how pretty. Okay, and let's do the same thing now, only in reverse. Bringing that red around all of our petals. This is your chance again for more blending practice. Mirror image reflection here. As above, so below. Okay, right along the bottom as well. Nice. Mm hmm. Lining all of my petals again. Doesn't have to be a perfect reflection. And then just taking a little bit of our pink into our bottom petals as well. Very vibrant. Deceptively simple, if you ask me. I think it's pretty easy to get these little gradations in each petal. I think it has a really nice effect. Okay, and the center one as well, of course. And then we should have our First layer all filled in. Just like so. Took a little bit of red there at the bottom. There we go. Okay. A little bit more shadow, darker red. Okay, and I might take a little bit more of a light pink as well. Okay, very pretty. All right, we've done a lot of hard work, everyone. 
go ahead and take a break and let this layer dry and we'll come back and add our final touches. So I'll see everyone in a few. Welcome back, beautiful artists. We have a dry background and I got some fresh colors on my piece of palette paper here. So this time I've got a full rainbow. I've got some more ultramarine blue, a little bit of phthalo green, some bright red, black and white, and a little bit of yellow. I rinsed my brushes and got fresh water at break as well. All right, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. So let's see, I'm gonna grab my smallest teeny tiny little brush right here. And I'm going to be working kind of around my lotus here a little bit uh, with some details with this super tiny brush. So I'm going to start with a dark red. So I'm going to take my red and mix in a little bit of black, just a tiny bit. I'm going to get a nice cranberry type color. And I'm going to use this to kind of shadow right where my petals touch the lily pad here and then a little bit of shadow coming up from the base just kind of cleaning up that shape slightly just like so and on the other side as well using that teeny tiny detail brush make sure it's all fine-tuned just like so very nice let's do a tiny bit down here as well in our reflection just kind of tidying things up slightly going to grab my dark blue and tidy up my horizon line as well So, nice clean line right along the horizon of your darkest blue on the other side as well, if need be. Great, and let's go around our lily pads as well. I'm gonna take a little bit of green, I think I'll pull a bit of yellow in and a tiny bit of black for a nice dark green. I'm just going to go around my lily pads with that dark green. Just like so. Very dainty, delicate brush strokes here. Okay, looking good. Gonna grab a little bit of a lighter green really quick with just some yellow and phthalo green and do a couple little streaks of green right underneath for a little reflection. And then we're gonna do that same kind of thing over here our main lily pad. Okay, we're seeing seeing the lily pad here, and then over the edge of the lily pad, we have the reflection of the flower above. Just like so, creating some nice depth. I'm going to do a little shadow kind of right where my lily or my lotus keeps, I keep mixing those up, right where the flower is emerging from the center there. Just like so, a little bit of shadows. Okay. And it's looking really good. Okay. I'm gonna take that same brush, completely clean. We wanna mix up a nice clean light yellow, very bright, about like so. 
And we're going to do our magic little sparkles, which is my favorite part by far of this painting. I think it just adds such a nice touch. And we're going to do this all with our teeny tiny brush. And you just start with a plus sign. We're going to add a lot of these, like so, for the big sparkles. Just start with white, or excuse me, start with your light yellow, and then we're going to come back with white in a minute and make it look even brighter. Okay, they're going to be slightly different sizes. We're also going to have just some normal little dots. Okay, of different sizes that are circular. Little sparklies and little dots. Pulling it all out from the center there. Just like so. And you can add as many or as few as you'd like here. But I think it looks nice with a lot of them. Little dots here and there, a little bit here coming from the side, maybe even a couple there on top of your flower. And you can also have some just be little plus signs like so. Okay, bringing all of those little magic elements out around our beautiful flower. Just like so. So cute. Here and there. Kind of want to balance it out a little bit. We're using our light yellow still. Look how pretty that is. Okay. You coming down like so. You might have the reflection here of some. Also, maybe a few little brush strokes of yellow in our water. So pretty. Okay, I'm gonna rinse that brush really quick. I'm going to come in with an almost white into the center of some of those. Then it will just add another little element to that sparkle. Just tapping that right in the center, either with light yellow or white if your yellow is still wet like mine is. Very light handed with this step. Going in the sparkles here. But you can also tap a little bit of white into some of your little dots as well. And you can also do dots that are all white. Just like so, all sparkly around, very like. Princess vibes. Whimsical. So pretty. A little bit of sparkliness here in the water, too. Very light handed here. Okay, second to smallest brush. Final little detail here back in our water just to make that flower look more like a reflection, I'm going to grab some medium blue with a little bit of water. I'm going to come in there and pull some blue reflection lines through the flower. 
hand just sort of through the whole bottom part of our composition. So pretty. A little bit of a light blue as well. Nice to have a couple different tones. Pulling some of that color all throughout. I'm going to take a little bit of a dark blue. Just do some finishing horizontal brush strokes. Kind of framing my outside edge a little bit. Looking good. If you painted along today, I'd love to see your work. And I've created a Facebook group called The Art Club that is specifically designed for my students to share their work, whether it be from painting along or from your own home studios and imaginations. We'd love to have you over there. And that is all the instruction that I have for today's painting. Please hit like if you liked it. Let me know what you thought of it in the comments section below. I'd love to see you over in the art club. And until next time, stay creative.